Mm-hmm. So it's going to be varied up again. They take a technical round and sequel round for that or what? Uh, yes, 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 yes. They will. But they will, won't be extensively uh, taking means very intricate uh, questions. They won't be. But yes, they would be taking. Any client that you face, they will actually ask you questions because they want to see also that whether you are able to handle their questions or not. Okay. And how confidently you handle the question is the most important thing. But uh, right now, 70% of your job is done. 30% is remaining. Clearing a client round is not that difficult unless very challenging questions are asked. But uh, most of the time, the questions are uh, easy. Means they focus mainly on the work that you have done, the flow of work, how you have handled the things. And I, I think you have got good exposure. The technical terminologies that you use are correct. Okay, that, that was the best part of your previous interview. Uh, but now with the feedback, I want to see that how you are explaining the stuffs together. That is what I want to see. And let's see how it goes. And uh, very yeah. short, you will be able to back. Okay, let's see. Good morning, Rupesh. Thank you for joining in today's interview. How are you doing today? I'm fine. What about you? Doing good as well. Thank you for asking. So, we, Rupesh, before we proceed, can you talk about uh, the recent project that you have worked? Yeah, sure. So, my recent project is about the client room, which is media and telecommunication domain. So, our architecture involves various data sources, which is on-premises data sources like Oracle and uh, MySQL, as well as we are integrating some data from the flat file also and integrating some data from the various uh, S3 bracket also. So we are, we are integrating all that data into the Snowflake environment from the S3 bracket, Python integration, some manual loading we have, we are taking as well as uh, uh, some manual testing. And we are integrating all that data into a Snowflake environment. So we are first created a presentation layer where all the data are ingest, ingested due to the by the ETL team. Then we are going for the presentation layer. And then we are creating some materialized view for our HR data, which include some requisition details, which include uh, termination details, which include headcount details, which include the hierarchy for the cost center, super organization level. So we are created seven to eight tables for that. And then we are going for the reporting purpose with the Tableau. So our data contains, it's a complete journey of Zoomies life cycle. So from the intern up to the exit of the firm, then which are the headcount which is currently present, which is the active headcount that we are showing, then how many hires in the in the Zoom. So then how they terminated involuntary termination, voluntary termination. So our dashboard is around these metrics, headcount, hires, termination, and summary. So in the summary dashboard, we are showing a dynamic dynamic dashboard there in that we are showing a KPIs like which are the total headcount, then total hires, then total termination, where we are headcount like FTA time to start, FTA time to end, and what is the termination type. Then we are showing the headcount. So for that headcount calculation, because obviously we want to show only a current headcount that is actively headcount we are working. So as the solution for that, I have write a fixed LOD calculation. So that fixed LOD calculation, that date calculation with, re with respect to the date, that that headcount we are showing for all the met for all the all the uh, graphs that we are showing uh, here as a waterfall chart. So. Then we are showing some types of metrics that headcount for the department, headcount for the for the cost center, and then headcount for the super organization level. So this is the first metric that we are showing. This is the first dashboard that we are showing for the summary. 
then for the so higher. So how many dashboards you have created so far? So it's going to be around sixty-five to sixty-eight dashboards. That's I have made until now. Okay, and uh, uh, what type of connections do you prefer when you are creating dashboards? Yeah, so it's again depends on the project requirement. So sometimes we are going from the on premises, like from the Oracle, from the MySQL. These are the connections that we have made. Sometimes mostly I have work in the Snowflake connection because in the Deloitte also they no, have... I was talking about when you are connecting to the data source, it's a live connection that you go for dashboards or extract. Yeah. So preferable one is the extract connection. But yeah, again, there is a requirement like uh, our health clear client. So they want the transaction details at the time, what are the transaction details they have entering. So if there is a situation like for the live real-time updates they want in their dashboard, then I will go for the live connection. But as for the performance concern, I prepared the extract one. So what are the major major changes do you do when you see that there is some there are some performance issues in your dashboards? Yeah. So at the performance wise, as I have a checklist. So first checklist is that whatever the aggregation that you want, whatever the calculations, if you want to avoid in your dashboard. So first we have connected with the database team and discussion about the requirements. If most of the aggregation, most of the calculation is solved with the database team, then we will do that because data, whatever the data pool in our dashboard, if it make a very simple and if they avoid some calculation and the dashboard side on the Tableau side, so performance should be better in that. As well as the second important checkpoint is that we are going for the extract one at the performance wise. So if you want to again limit some data into that, suppose you want uh, data for the China country, or we want to analyze our dashboard for the particular, particular restricted field. So we want to restrict that. So extract connection should be preferred because it creates, it process the faster by creating the hyper files. Third one is that it's self-provided by the Tableau. First, we check with the what, help. Uh, it will be better if you can give an example that you face this challenge and this is how, what you did and which solved. Can you give one example that you have done? Yes, yes sure. So, uh, recently, that project I did for the Zoom. So, it takes around 40 to 45 seconds for rendering purpose, for loading the dashboard. So as we, as clients comes towards me as a developer and they want the solution, they want hardly takes 10 to 15 seconds for the rendering purpose. So as I check first that help and going for the start okay, performance. Check. So I check at the Tableau desktop provided a performance recording. So I will In performance that. recording. Does it show the time as well? How much load time it is taking? Yes, yes, yes. So it created mainly a two work two worksheets there. So performance summary and detail views. So in the performance summary, that's showing a timeline, which is a workbook, which are the worksheets that you have and complying query, all that, and as well as on the upper side, that timeline is created which is a type of filter. So you can adjust that. And then it is a query. So you can click on that query. So it it gives uh, you XML code or SQL code and how much time it will take. And in the detailed views, it create a depth view. So from that depth view, you can see which, which one have taken a largest time, which one have taken a more time as well as they have created created exclusive some parameters for that. So you can check with the parameters also. So performance summary, performance dashboard that's given by the Tableau. So it gives the overall summary, but that is the first checkpoint. 
that gives only a clear idea but you have to need to work on that whatever the idea given by the tableau desktop again again one another thing that tableau desktop provided is that run optimizer now in recent version that they will provide so in the when we are checking with the that so it gives which calculation have taken a more time or which are the unhide used or sometimes we are we are forgetting we are created a duplicate duplicate calculated field but we are forgetting that we won't remove it so that need to be taken care of that so that again and third important checkpoint you have to hide unused fields whatever the field that you are not using just hide it so there is option provided by tableau desktop only so you can go through that and just hide unused field Fourth important field, field that while writing the calculations, parameter also as well as calculated field also. So if you use the, rather than going for the string, if you use the parameters for the integer, because computer process integers very faster as compared to string. So in our case also, so many, so many parameters are string type and they give a very more rendering time. So what we did, we reduce some time by giving giving a integer type of parameter so it will reduce some time and gives the direction then in the calculated field also so many calculations that involved that we required for have that. you ever been a part of any migration project migration project no, I'm not a part of it. You have not been a part of my vision project. Yes. Okay. So, uh, in which kind of scenarios have you uh, performed? Uh, means, did you do an incremental refresh? Yeah. So, incremental refresh is that if your data is very huge, suppose it's considered 4 million rows and you want to analyze that data. And again, new rows are added in your in your database side again and again for suppose for the id one for patient id it again added some rows for that particular day again another day so it's only added it it only added the new record for that patient new patients are added so if you are going for the full extract refresh so it again refreshes all that extract and it takes more time but your motto is only you have to refresh that whatever the new patients are added. So just go for the extract option. There is an incremental refresh. One option is there. Then you have to choose a which table that you want to extract. And it's generally a primary key. That new record that we have added by the primary key. So you have to choose that one. And it's going to be and you just their time, whatever the time that you want to refresh it. So three options that provided first the whatever the table, then a uh, sample, or you want to top rows that we want to refresh and just click OK. So, so suppose if you are selected in today's interview, okay, sorry to cut you off uh, in between. Uh, suppose if you are selected, uh, what, what all things will you bring to my plate? Yeah. So as a Tableau developer, the first thing is that whatever the requirements that you have given to me, I will translate them into the actionable insight. So that dashboard that I will create it and whatever the, my knowledge and my experience, whatever I work in, that all knowledge and my experience is put for making my work better and, uh, and the opportunity to grow up in my career as well as for the company also. And gives my 100% to anyone so so it will be better for my career also and it and it would be better to grow and whatever the challenges uh, just dedicated to my work so suppose in case uh, besides the development work if you are uh, the thing that you are doing Suppose if you are involved uh, involved in production support, will you be able to do that as well besides your regular work? Yeah, sure. I will do that. 
Have you ever worked on any production support environment? Do you know what is a production support? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes what are the inbuilt dashboard that dashboard has already made, and mm -hmm. we want to give the more updates on that support. So we have to take care of deployment activities, or we have to take care of some of the minor changes on that dashboard, or. Deployment activities as in the dashboards are already deployed, right? What type of activities will happen in there? Yeah. Not about the deployment activity, sorry. Okay. So what are the new changes in that dashboard? So how do you get production? Have you ever worked on production support environment? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, fine. And uh, my final question will be, where do you see yourself in the next five years of time? Yeah, so as I started my career in Tableau and SQL, so I have to grow up again. My new skills are added. So currently I'm learning the Python also because Python again, R, which is our R language that I want to learn, which is integrated with the Tableau itself. And with the database side, one ETL tool that one ETL tool that I'm currently learning Alteryx Informatica, and as well as for the cloud, cloud is now bloom, booming. So AWS, that's I want to learn. So it's a overall again, yeah, I want to learn. Means it's a more very. So what are your dream means? Uh, my question, I think you have not. I want to become Where a... do you see yourself? In, uh, after five years also, you want to see that you are still learning or do you want to achieve a position? Yeah, I want to become a data scientist. You want to become a data scientist. Yes. Okay, fine. Any questions you might have from me? Yeah, just want to know now on which domain that you are working and which projects are alive and just want Assuming. to expertise on that okay so basically we are working on an entirely finance module as you know the we are a bank so the entire domain will be finance so all the intricate details of finance module you will have to take care and in this project we are looking for someone who would be single-handedly uh, working on all the reports that we have okay it's a migration work that we are we gonna have okay and we are migrating all our power bi reports into tableau okay so and there is a migration of database so that is happening we are migrating from sql server to snowflake so we are looking for someone who is good with snowflake as as well as on tableau so yeah that will be the roles and responsibilities i guess uh, that you would be working once you are selected okay got it okay thank you rupesh very much for your time uh, have a wonderful evening ahead. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you.